I joined the Adelaide Primary Health Network Board at the November 2021 Annual General Meeting. As a GP working both in the community and in the state COVID response, I feel there's palpable evidence of Adelaide PHN wanting to listen to, support and really strengthen our profession and the services we offer our patients. I see Adelaide PHN actively seeking to partner with primary care providers to explore innovative ways of solving problems and addressing gaps to improve access to health care. For me personally, this has been really pleasing to see, particularly given our focus on strengthening engagement with our stakeholders and primary care providers, community members and clinical advisory councils, as well as other organisations in our broader healthcare system. In fact, there are many examples of where Adelaide PHN has impacted general practice and the primary healthcare landscape. We've been instrumental in helping to coordinate COVID response activities with multiple partnerships which have assisted access to care and also supported the safety of practitioners. We've assisted with PPE provision and professional development support for practitioners, with regular webinars and educational communications. Adelaide PHN has also been instrumental in supporting partnerships with SA Health, which has led to extending access to GP-led respiratory clinics and seen a significant expansion of the Drug and Therapeutics Information Service, providing phone advice to support GPs in prescribing COVID antiviral medications. There's also the ongoing management and updating of health pathways information and supporting GPs to access practical tools like video consult platforms and electronic clinical guidelines. This has been invaluable for GPs and our ability to provide care in a dynamic environment. In addition, our digital health support has continued to assist practices in leveraging digital and data technologies to gain efficiencies and insights into how we're meeting community health needs. And finally, Adelaide PHN's support for GP integration officers across the Metro local health networks has also been so important in breaking down the silos between primary care and the hospital system. This really helps to reduce friction points and build better pathways for communication, resulting in better care for our patients when they move between community and hospital-based care. In terms of what's next, I look forward to Adelaide PHN increasing our engagement with our community, both amongst consumers and providers of primary health care. I believe there's a real sense of excitement around expanding the impact of our community and clinical councils to better understand the population we serve and therefore how we respond to community need. We have such rich resources across the councils and I would love to see closer connections with them from the board and the wider organisation. As a clinician, I'm also keen to see how Adelaide PHN continues to grow our partnerships with other stakeholders in primary health to support the ongoing sustainability of COVID responses. Ultimately, this will be about helping GPs do what we do best, patient-centred, holistic care across the lifespan.